Alright guys, welcome to part 6 on Guardians of the Galaxy. So before I start today's episode off, last episode we was on our way to Lady Hellbender and we had Groot as our prisoner for exchange of some units and it's taken us back to when Peter Quill was a teenager in the beginning of the game. So we're going to be carrying on to that point right now. So we're just going to see where that leads to. So we're actually going to go upstairs. This time, I think. Yeah, here we are. So everything's still here that we interacted with. So we're going to see what actually uh, happens around here then. Some more things we can interact with. I think there's nothing over here. Oh, where are we? Hold on. Warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. But I'll say there's some things over here we can interact with. Oh, the fridge is open. Oh, a little reference to when the Guardians uh, don't close the fridge on the Milano. Andy says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that. Something growing inside of you, slowly taking over. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. All right, let's go upstairs. So I've been enjoying this game a lot. I really am. Headphones just disappeared. Well, well, well. Look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. No, you didn't. Oh, I am so full. Mom. Oh. Okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. It's got a Pac-Man cake. Oh my god, that's amazing. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Oh god, I said that's to spam it. Those girlfriends. Someone's gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are gonna be falling off. Mom. Home. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh. What huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. Oh, so I can... So she was obviously referencing Friday the 13th, one of my favorite horror films. Uh... Oh, I don't know what to go for. I might deflect. I might. Oh, I don't know. Might qualify. Yeah, we'll qualify. That was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG thirteen, and I'm thirteen. Exactly. PG thirteen may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight. You know, maybe finish our game. You can't duck out. Right when I'm about to win. Alright, so I can rationalize a compromise. But it's my birthday. Oh, God, it's so tough. It's like Peter's mother we're talking to. We'll compromise. We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it. Tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house. And you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. Argue. Oh, oh, I want to be reassuring. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was... I know! 
you were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No, of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. All right. Don't you dare touch that dial. Oh, God. All right. Oh, there's a dog. Hey, Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Oh. Oh, it was uh, his grandparents' dog then. Oh. I like seeing dogs in video games. That's the bathroom. It's a picture here. Can we interrupt with that? I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. Oh, so was this their grandparents' home then? Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. Ah, right, okay. No, it's not their house. It's the grandparents' house. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. <laughs> that was uh, Peter and his mum then, when they were younger. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. I like how it goes back into like more of the story, like for Peter. This is amazing. At last. Trust me, Rocket? With Groot? Flark, no. I ain't putting his bark solely in your hands. Your call, Peter. You're just jealous my plan's better. You're green with envy. Better than black and blue. I'm sure you can trust Gamora with that thing that I was definitely paying attention to. I trust her with my life. I'd trust her with your life, too. Just not with Groot's. Okay, mean. I've got a lot more experience sneaking into places than you do. I still say me and my tracking device would have better odds of finding him. Not without sounding every alarm in the process. And you've been outvoted. Lame. Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. Well, you do live on a mud ball in the middle of nowhere. What's that? What he means is you will have. We're huge in the Kree system. What's in the box? A rare creature, last of his kind, and all-around swell guy. Looks like a bush. It is a tree. I am Groot. A talking tree. That's new. All right, get going. Before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be guarding out what's left of you in that box. Thanks, officer. Have a nice day. Officer? Whatever. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. The tree is no killer. We should be selling the angry rodent. Lady Hellbender will be displeased. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got no her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. It's a Flarkin army. Any chance they're the zookeepers with guns? I have never seen Orthos team. I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. 
Unless she's got a fleet of Shi'ar dropships. Yeah, like she's got a bunch of ships to take her old monster mash on tour. I stand correct. Those ain't Shi'ar. Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planets in hospital surface? Great question. Next time, I'm flying. Indeed. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chases across the galaxy level of no, at least. Seems like a good enough Clark, one. Are you kidding me? Look at this place! How's Gamora supposed to find one once we've sold him? I'll find someone who knows and listen. You're gonna ask for directions? Never said I'd ask. Screw this. I'm not gonna let you just wing it with group. We're doing it my way. I'm not winging it. Rocket's got a point. <sighs> Thanks. No one's more sneaky or badass, Gamora, but this place is a maze. So give me your stupid tracker thing. The Kaleran skull. That is truly a priceless trophy we own. A woman with expensive tastes. That's good news for our deal. Come on, we're a team. We stick together. All for one and one for all. That's surprisingly insightful. Did you just make that up? Uh, yep, just now. Totally off the top of my head. Follow me and pay attention. You will not approach Lady Hellbender's throne. If she chooses to approach you, you will remain still. No erratic movements. The thing is literally called Hellraiser. I know what you mean. Do not claim you are a fool. You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara Tara. You, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would be con artist. I assure you, I said, Milady. release it. Got this. Bring in the next seller, and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of it. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star-Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And... Such flesh. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. Peter Quill. I believe she is flirting with me. Wait, what? Take the lead. Uh, just go along with her flatter or something. Yeah, we'll encourage him. Just play along. 
wrong, man. Flatter her or something. We got this. This for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender. I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnar 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. been wiped out. Name your terms, Destroyer. 20,000 units. 20,000? The creature is not monstrous like the creepy little beast. But it is a capable warrior and it possesses regenerative qualities. Also, it is the last of its species. 20,000 units is sufficient compensation. No. No! What do you mean, no? I mean... No. Well, then you're an idiot, lady! Hey there, hi, Star-Lord. Again, the leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Trax was just messing with you. 10,000 units would be more than enough. The amount I demanded was not a mistake. Don't you think 10,000 is a more reasonable amount, Drax? I do not. <laughs> He's... he is just... Kidding. 10,000 units and we'll throw in a coupon. Enough! If I wish to hear Kerr's whine, I'd visit the feeding pens. Ugh. 9,000 units for the Flora Colossus Destroyer. 9,537. For the cage. Deal. Storms of Seknoff grow ravenous. You will stay among my Hellraisers and revel as one of us. Yeah, this is great. We'd be. Thank you. Sagnarfian beast handler. Who confirmed that Groot is definitely probably being kept in the new additions pen. Which is where exactly? Well, we didn't quite get that far. Good thing we're doing my plan. Tracker's pointing back to Lady Skull Suit's throne room, so uh, that's where I'm going. Tiny little problem. Boy, when these guys go, they go hard. They're heavily inebriated. Doesn't mean they're not a threat. So my best blade work happens after I've had a few. If a few scut knuckles gotta die to save Groot, so be it. Whoa! Hey! We are not here to start a war with the woman who's got her own private army. No, just a robber. If we do things right and be quiet, we'll be in and out with no one the wiser. Drax! What part of quiet don't you understand? Dead is quiet, Peter Quill. No killing! Don't touch anything, don't step on anything, and don't break anything. And don't do anything stupid. If we mess this up, it's game over for Groot. And us. Oh, what God. Happened? She knows how to throw a party. It was like this with the Ravagers, too. 
Yondu was a real work hard, play hard sort. Thanos doing either usually ended up with murder. We compare and scuddy father figures because mine gave me a shock collar for my birthday. Chuffy now, Rocket like climbed over the table. Show you guys a real party. Uh, I will construct festive headwear worthy of this celebration. Alright, are we good? Oh, thank God for that. Throne room entrance is down there. So we just gotta, you know, keep our way across the chasm. Quietly. Gotta say, this is not what I had in mind when you pitched this whole hero for hire thing. Maybe Hellbender will give you a job. I'm not the one she was interested in. <laughs> She's right. We should have just sold Drax. We're not pimps, Rocket. And the plan is going just fine as is. Still, we could have strung her along a little. Gotten us closer to Groot or something. Will not use my sexual magnetism deceptively. Spoken like someone who's never dated. Not everyone has to trick someone into a date. Oh God. That's it. Dead ahead. Past another bunch of lightweights. You're sure that tracker of yours is reliable? Trust me. This baby's paid for itself. Oh, you actually paid for it? I trust Rocket's do that. Remember that time on Onsara? <laughs> Remember no such time. Before your days, muscles. Quill got caught stealing eggs from this place on Sakaar. Why am I not surprised? My doodad led me straight to him, hiding in a spike hatchery. I was not hiding. Yes, you were. Admit it. Do your magic, Rocket. It is not magic. Just say, have a little faith, Woolberry. My tech built them thumpers. It's gonna pop this door, and it'll find Groot. Oh, until it makes a loud noise. We saw him take Groot down the elevator, right? So we just gotta find the controls. Lady Laddie does probably got him on her fancy chair up there. We are down here. Hellbender used some sort of rising stairs. There's gotta be a way of activating them from ground level. Maybe there is. I'm just gonna have a look around first. But I'll say there might be some hidden things. Find a switch. Maybe we can get access to the circuitry itself. Oh, there's a chest. I see a chest. I'll Maybe speak this up. Several stairs. I mean stairs down to root. There's a perfectly good elevator. It's oh, let's come on, come on. Wait! Drugs drugs destroyer. Uh Guardians Galaxy. 2014. Oh nice. Yes. Well, if they only got all of them now, I just need to get Peter Quills. Actually, speaking of Peter Quill, uh, I got the Digital Deluxe upgrade. So, uh, I've got, like, this outfit, the Nova one, the Sun Lord, and the City Lord. These are pretty cool, I like these. But I'm going to stick with the standard one until I can at least get, um, or at least find Peter Quills. Um... Guardians of Galaxy one. What is your maximum altitude? Less than that. Oh, we just need that one. I'm so happy if we get all five. I am, I don't want to miss out on Peters now. Right, I think that's everything at least. Let me have a look. Yeah, but so there's nothing around there. All right. Of course she can't just have it. So it looks like we've got some platforms. It's intended to inspire fear in her adversary. It's a crime of efficiency, is what it is. Doesn't look too comfortable. So vehicle either. access to monster pens, no access route well for it. right. Can't really step on it. Drax, think you could lift this thing easily? What do you want me to do with it? Still working on that. Hmm. Well, something I could scan. Is it back here? Maybe there's a control panel inside there you can hack. It's possible. Hmm. Physical, uh, maybe exploited to destroy with enough force. All right, Drax, try to clear that rubble at once. Let's see what's hiding back there. 
Perfect. We certain there is in fact an elevator. There's an access panel or something back here. Perfect. Maybe I could just hotwire the dash thing. I'll say it's a job for rocket. All right. I'm sending the schematic to your visor. Just follow the wiring and tell me which junctions to switch. I think that's switched on onto. Uh, here. Done. Cool. It changed. I can see it. Doesn't take much to impress you. Switch this. Done. Wait, hold on. This has to be all connected right here, doesn't it? Okay. Switch these ones on. Here and that one goes out. You okay? Yeah, yeah. You just focus on them junction points. This one. Oh my word, it carries on all the way over here. Oh, here. Yep. Uh, these ground wires are just tied together. Lucky I don't get fried. Done it. Okay, here. Right, I think that's that one, isn't it? Oh, is that, is that done it now anyway? Oh, this thing is a mess. There's wires everywhere. Have you seen the Milano? Hey, those are much more organized than they could be. It ain't my Wait, hold on. Ran out of them zip ties. Uh, so it could go this way. I was going to lead into this one. And here. Got it. Hmm. Switch this. Done. Seems like there's something back there. This one. Is there something over here? No. Right. Okay. So I'm trying to think right now, so could be connected okay, to this here. here. I don't know, it seems very confusing, like. This, this seems like it's activated right now. But it needs to hold on. If I follow this in the light, right, so that's connected. I know that. So that's switch, right. That's connected. So if we uh, follow this one, and then this goes both ways. Follow this, follow this, follow that. And here, got it. Follow that one, follow that one. Switch this. Done. Right, so that's connected to that. So what we'll do is we'll follow this. Hmm, but then it's connected to that, isn't it? This one. Oh, here. Yep. See, this one's connected up here now. And is that where that's where we've just come from? So we don't want that. Okay, here. That one's switched on. That one's connected. That one's connected. Go down here. I don't know, this one ends here, maybe? Switch this. Done. So, I'm just trying to think right now. The primary and secondary relays are connected, you sarnooks. Your tone conveys negativity. Means if one fails, they both fail. Ah, this there one. we go. I think I said to... Wait, hold on. Right, so they're connected. Uh, there we go. Oh! Oh God! now, Peter Quill. Yes, now. Kill them now. Well, we got there. That's one. Right, we froze him. Get out of here. Your mask Following isn't his 
I was just punched him. Well, that was not ideal. Hey, no witnesses, no problem. Maybe I'll better won't miss them. Right. Okay, let's get back to focusing on this now. There. Keep it like oh, that. like that. Get up to the throne now. Better hope that panel actually works, because I'm out of things to tinker with down here. Of course it'll work. All right, let's go. See? Nailed it. That is the wrong elevator. What? what? He's right. Rude one down on the other side. Well, it's the only one we got, sweetheart. Call me sweetheart again. Look, I'm sure they both lead to the same place. The voice does not convey certainty. This is it. We're almost there. I gotta say, this is going pretty smooth. It has been considerably less than smooth. Okay, yeah, we had that one kink, but at least no one raised the alarm. That's what you call a kink? It'll be smooth sailing from here. What the piece of scut? Right on cue. It's not that. Something's wrong. Heads up, more guards. I would give a wide berth, Peter Quill. Oh, come on, you hunk of chunk. Mark. Anyone else got a bad feeling all of a sudden? Rocket, keep it down. Stuff it, Quill. Groot's tracker just went dark. You said we're almost there. I'm sure he's fine. You make sure as scut. Groot! That could have gone better. Could have gone worse. At least he didn't wake anyone on his way. The rodent has tiny padded feet. Well, it could have gone any better. Alright, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for this part on Guardians of the Galaxy. I hope you did enjoy this. So if you did, please do leave a like or subscribe. I hope you have a good rest of the day. And I'll see you guys in the next part.